Right, just wanted to take you through a couple of applications. There's a lot more applications that can uh, uh, do similar things, but I uh, just wanted to take you through a couple of applications for uh, stargazing, basically. Um, the first one here is Google Sky Map. And this uses your um, uses your inbuilt um, compass and uh, pan and tilt sensors, and you basically hold this in the sky, and it shows you the constellations, the stars, the moons, the planets that are out there. So you basically hold this in the sky. It's a bit tricky to show you here, but you can move this around above your head. And you can see the various star star systems that are out there, etc. And you can you can click on menu down here, and you can click on search, and you can search for various things. So if I do a search for Mars, and then it will basically point you the way. So you you just carry on moving your phone in through the sky until you can find it. You can do a similar thing here with um, the gallery. Um, if I just tilt that up properly, and you can choose the gallery, the, uh, the um, sort of galaxy that you want, or the nebula. Again, you press it; it gives you a good close-up, and then you can find it in the sky and sound uh, very knowledgeable when you're actually showing people around the uh, the sky. Now, Google Sky Maps is fantastic, and you can you can time travel as well, and go to a certain point in history uh, but what I also wanted to show you here was another application which has come about because the International Space Station and the shuttle is making its, its last uh, flight today so I've got an application here called Space Junk and it's available in the Android market this is free you can see here that the phone's pointing down at the minute apologies in advance for the focus on this particular um, video it's a little bit tricky with the amount of black that's in here now this shows you the stars and it also shows you if you could see just there on the top of the screen there's a satellite what looks like a satellite but it's not it's actually the international space station so you can go out and there's the space shuttle itself on its last voyage into space you can go out at night and you can if you're lucky see the international space station shooting past uh, in the sky so that's a couple of quick uh, applications that you can use to go out in the sky tonight if the skies are clear and um, find out exactly what's up there